Characteristics of Shakespearean Tragedy In today's class, we'll be discussing Shakespearean tragedies. We'll be able to identify characteristics of Shakespearean drama slash tragedy, including the terms tragic hero, tragic flaw, catharsis, hubris, chorus, catastrophe, comic relief, soliloquy, aside, and dramatic irony. You'll want to take notes and pay attention during this lecture, because there will be a mini quiz at the end ensuring that you're able to identify these terms. Revenge, Intrigue, Murder, and Insanity. These are just a few of the topics explored in William Shakespeare's tragedies. Basing his work on Greek and Roman traditions of drama, Shakespeare created some of the most enduring tragedies, which continue to enthrall audiences to this day. Let's first look at the period in which Shakespeare wrote his tragedies. During the Middle Ages, English drama focused mainly on religious themes, teaching moral lessons or retelling Bible stories to a populace that by and large could not read. With the Renaissance, however, came the rebirth of interest in dramas of ancient Greek and Rome. Let's take a look at the origins of Greek tragedies. In Western civilization, tragedies arose in ancient Greece, where they were performed as part of elaborate outdoor festivals. According to the famous ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, tragedy arouses pity in the audience, pity for the hero, and fear for all human beings who are subject to character flaws and unknown destiny. Seeing a tragedy unfold produces a catharsis, or cleansing of these emotions in the audience. In Greek tragedy, the hero tragic flaw is often hubris, excessive pride that leads to a tragic hero to challenge the gods. Angered by such hubris, the gods unleash, unleash their retribution or nemesis on the hero. Ancient Greek tragedies also make use of a chorus, a group of performers who stand outside the action and comment on events and characters in the play, often hinting at doom to come and stressing the fatalistic aspects of the hero's downfall. By Shakespeare's day, the chorus consists of only one person, a kind of narrator, or was dispensed entirely. Like stated earlier, the intention of tragedy is to exemplify the sense that human beings are doomed to suffer, fail, or die because of their own flaw, destiny, or fate. As part of this tradition, Shakespeare's tragedies share the following characteristics with Greek tragedies. The tragic hero is the main character who comes to an unhappy end or a miserable end. The tragic hero is generally a person of importance in society, such as a king or queen. The tragic hero exhibits abilities, but also a tragic flaw, a fatal error in judgment or weakness of characters that leads directly to his or her downfall. Shakespearean tragedies also share similar plot characteristics with Greek tragedies. In a Shakespearean tragedy, the plot involves a conflict between the hero and a person force called the antagonist, which the hero must battle. Inevitably, the conflict contributes to the hero's downfall. The plot is built upon a series of casually related events that lead to the catastrophic or tragic resolution. This final stage of plot usually involves the death of the hero. The plot is resolved when the tragic hero meets his or her doom with, with courage and dignity, reaffirming the human spirit. The theme in Shakespearean tragedy also shares similarities with classic Greek tragedies. In Shakespearean tragedies, the theme is a central idea conveyed by the work and usually focuses on an aspect of fate, ambition, loss, defeat, death, loyalty, impulse, or desire. In tragedies, there does not have to be a single theme, such as in Macbeth. This, this play contains several themes. The Shakespearean tragedies share quite a bit of characteristics of classic Greek tragedies. Shakespearean tragedies also differ. Some of Shakespeare's work are not unrelentingly serious as classic Greek tragedies were. For example, Shakespeare often eased the intensity of the action by using the device of comic relief, a light, mildly humorous scene following a serious one. Now let's look at the other dramatic conventions Shakespeare employed in his tragedies. To create suspense before the inevitable outcome, and to help the audience understand the characters, Shakespeare used certain dramatic conventions, the soliloquy, the aside, and dramatic irony. Let's first discuss the, the dramatic convention, dramatic irony. Dra dramatic irony results when the audience knows more than one or more of the characters. For example, in the tragedy Julius Caesar, the tragic hero Caesar does not know that the people are plotting against him but the audience does. 
By employing dramatic irony, Shakespeare is able to create a sense of suspense. Now let's look at soliloquy. A soliloquy is a speech given by a character alone on stage, used to reveal his or her thoughts and feelings. A soliloquy can help the audience understand a character's motivation. Another dramatic convention that might help the audience understand a character is an aside. An aside is a character's remarks, either to the audience or to another character, that no one else on stage is supposed to hear. An aside lets the audience in on the character's thoughts and secrets. Now that we've discussed some of the characteristics of Shakespearean tragedies, let's apply our knowledge to the scene from Shakespeare's Macbeth. In the following example from Macbeth, Act 1, Scene 3, Lines 143-147, through 147, Macbeth is expressing his thoughts, unheard by Banquo, about the witch's prophecy that he will be king of Scotland. Closely read this expert in a short dialogue. What characteristics of tragedy do you recognize? Take this time to pause and think of a response. As we wrap up this lecture, let's think back to our objectives. We will be able to identify characteristics of Shakespearean drama slash tragedy, including the terms tragic hero, tragic flaw, catharsis, hubris, chorus, catastrophe, comic relief, soliloquy, aside, and dramatic irony. How well do you think you know these terms? Take this quiz to assess your knowledge. Match the correct term to the definition by filling in the blank. Take this time to pause the lecture. The next slide will contain the answer key. So how did you do? If you missed a few terms, perhaps you should replay this lecture and focus in on those terms that you missed. This material may be on your class exam. Final exam. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.